something happened during our trip in Georgia, which we just got back from two weeks ago. Please. Which needed us to get back to Jordan so I could deal with this thing. So wait, wait. Proceed with life. Yeah, you, you, yeah, okay. So you're in, wh- where's the beginning? Is you going to Georgia? Or yeah, so, yeah, so I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. <laughs> 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 no, no, oh this, I swear it all ties up, I swear. <laughs> Okay. I travel a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm it's two weeks used to prior. be a luxury. Now yeah. it's just yeah. Like before it was normal. There's a thing called airports, and you get on a plane and go places. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> this is pre-corona. <laughs> um, yeah, and you like shook hands with people and things <laughs> like that happened. Yeah. So uh, we, we, anyway, we climbed Kilimanjaro two weeks prior to even coming to the UAE. Just to and uh, while there, uh, my phone froze at the top. So it had a glitch in it and where it couldn't re, it couldn't charge. So when we, and I didn't want to fix it anywhere else until we came to Dubai because I knew it would be the most efficient and cheapest. Okay. Upon yeah. arrival to Dubai, okay. I can see that. I went to Minutes. You guys ever been in Minutes in MCC? Yeah, that, I yeah. Have to go Center? there f- they to do fix lots anything. They, it yeah. seems like a one-stop shop. It's totally. a one-stop shop. I mean, watches. Uh, you can engrave. Uh, they fixed my shoes. <laughs> they do shoes. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> they always fix. I have this really. I have a nice watch. They always fix the strap every time it breaks. And if you lose a key, they do copies for you. Yeah, yeah. And, and they could do logos and engrave. It's it's an amazing shop. If you haven't been, it's across Carrefour. So I went there after my father recommended. He's like broken phone. Fajr, go in minutes. Uh huh. They will do it literally in an hour and a half. Yeah. Not so minutes. not minutes. I showed up with my phone. They're like, oh, oh. sir, no problem. We'll leave it here. We'll diagnose it. Come back in an hour. Okay. Now, this coincided with it being MCC's birthday. Mm. So the gym had an offer where they gave three free days of working out to anybody. Okay. MCC being the mall that you're in. Murder City Center. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we're up at Fitness First. Happy birthday, by the way, guys. <laughs> really enjoyed that workout. <laughs> came back uh, to my phone and the guy said, oh, it's hopeless. It's a mainframe situation. Motherboard. Uh, motherboard, yeah, that's it. Uh, what, what's a mainframe? Oh, well. Computer related. So anyway, he gave me a big uh, technical <laughs> word, which uh, led me to believe I need to buy a new phone. Bought a new phone for uh, 2,100 dirhams. Okay. But since I was there anyway at minutes, I left my old phone with them for him to repair. Mm. I'm like, why not? Let's see. I want to uh, retrieve some of the data in there. I want to get this and that. They call me back the next day. They said, guess what? We send it to the center. It's not a mainframe situation. Mm. It's an easy fix and we can fix it for 200 dirhams. Literally, same day I pick it up, it's been fixed for 200 dirhams. It, uh, so you've bought the other phone and then they told you... Guy that with no phone goes yeah. from no phone to, to two, two phones. phones. <laughs> I uh, struck a deal with the guy who fixed it. I'm like, listen, at uh, 4 p.m., he had a break from his shift and we met in a place to discuss... Shady business. <laughs> yeah, shady business <laughs> where he bought my new phone at a discounted price. Uh-huh. Okay? okay. Awesome. Which was cool for me. It's all good, man. Yeah. Uh, I lost maybe 300 dirhams on the value of the phone, but I really wanted my old phone. It had certain applications on it that I just, you know, I, I need it. Now... I'm out 300 dirhams from that, plus 200 dirhams from fixing my phone, whatever. 500 dirham, no biggie. Mm-hmm. Then we go to Georgia. Mm-hmm. Like the next day, Al and I fly to Georgia for our awesome vacation. The first time we're kids getting away free. from the kids since mm-hmm. we had our son, Faris. Upon arrival in Georgia, I was so excited that they were giving every single person a free bottle of wine at immigration that's amazing it's it's <laughs> aren't you guys more excited a free bottle of wine at I'm customs like, i'm just thinking that's such bullshit because they didn't give us a bottle of wine when we got there <laughs> so uh yeah i mean i just run and i'm being all goofy like we're on vacation free bottles of wine and uh and i, I couldn't i one one scene that really uh, stuck out for me was watching like the Saudi couples, which looked like they were on their honeymoon. Like she's totally hijabi, uh, <laughs> like burqa styles um, no with her, you know, uh, fiance or husband and them holding bottles yeah. of wine. <laughs> you know, it, it really, so they're literally giving it to everyone. They're giving it to everybody. Like That's I wanted so to run funny. up to them and be like, yo, let me get that haram off your hand. <laughs> but in, in the excitement of everything, while waiting for the luggage, I dropped my phone, which I just fixed. Uh, and it's, yeah, yeah, he did drop it. 
and, and, it fell and in just the kind un- of watched it fall and hit the ground. And let's not forget that before, before you sold your new phone back or whatever, I don't even understand what you did. But <laughs> something inside of me, and I expressed this, something inside of me was like, you should just keep that phone. Like the now you phone. have two yeah, now you have two phones. They both work. They both he did this whole data transfer thing. They both have all your data on mm. it. Like this can't be a bad thing. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah, yeah, but you Anyways, I did express that. Mhm. And then so he drops the phone. <laughs> so yeah, I dropped the phone and while we were waiting for the And then we both kind of watched it fall. Yeah, it went in super slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> but we <laughs> neither of us did anything. Yeah, I'm like, well, I'm holding two bottles of wine here. <laughs> but the thing falls down and hits like uh, uh, techni- it just hit it the wrong way the so wrong his way to the point where i picked it up the phone is flashing in my face oh god it's giving me the death the signal you know yeah. what i mean it's, this it's is like the first thing. 10 minutes of the holiday yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay great mm-hmm. way to start mm-hmm. yeah so needless to say i was the a mood bit upset. turned yeah. the mood turned at that point it yeah. did turn mm-hmm. it like, did take a bit of a turn been really looking forward to a fixed phone now i have a broken phone in a foreign land and this and that and and you had another phone too <laughs> i know which i sold at a loss <laughs> <laughs> so now we're like a you're like, like two phones compounding down compounding like yeah it was a compound uh shitty situation where i even at the airport i'm like well there's no need to even get a sim card with data now <laughs> so the rest of the trip we had no internet because right. my phone wasn't working like fuck this fuck this i was just upset we get in a cab. Obviously, I'm upset. And this is at the beginning of our lovely vacation, you know? We drive to the hotel. I'm sure Allison fucking had enough of me at that point by the time we okay, got to the Okay, but before room. we got to the hotel, we couldn't find the hotel because we didn't have a phone to look on Google Maps. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh and God. it was oh like God. a super <laughs> hidden, like, boutique hotel in the old town, like, down these, like, old winding alleyways. Um, yeah, so anger obviously shifted from, like, Phone broken. To why did you book this hotel? <laughs> <laughs> no, it shifted, stay on the main road. <laughs> it shifted to that a bit later. But oh yeah, it went to that later. First, it was like, oh, stupid phone, stupid phone. It was still stupid phone at this point. So we got into the city, which is only like a twenty-minute drive from the airport, and then we were driving around in Tbilisi itself for maybe like forty-five minutes. Oh god! And mm. because the street names have changed, like they've changed so many times, so it's. It's really like, I guess, rare for a, like people don't go by street names there. They Mm -hmm. just, they don't. So like I, we knew the street, we knew the address. The guy was calling the hotel, still couldn't find it. Anyway, just a shitty arrival Mm -hmm. situation. By the time we get to the hotel, like more or less. Yeah. I mean, Allison's like, okay, well, I'm going to go to the bathhouses, do my thing. You go fucking do whatever the hell you have to do. Let's meet for (laughs) dinner. And that's what we planned on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I guess you took off to the ha- to the bathhouse, right? To the mm-hmm. banya. Mm-hmm. I hopped in a cab, and I'm like, "Please take me to telephone hospital." Mm-hmm. So we get in the cab. Telephone I'm to ex- hospital. I'm, I'm trying to explain to the guy that I need to get my phone repaired. Mm. Eventually, I found the words "telephone hospital" to be most appropriate, <laughs> and would uh, transcend through cultures and languages. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we drove for like ten minutes, you know, to a strip mall kind of area near a bus station. Uh, check the first shop, second shop, fifth shop. They all quoted me 800 lari, which is just a little over 300 USD. I wasn't having it. I'm like, fuck this. I'm not going to pay $300 in fucking, uh, you know, Chalchalash land for <laughs> a whatever phone. Yeah. You know, like 800 schmeckles. But like, like the, cab, like all this shit. the huh? cab guy was like nice enough to take you from one. Well, yeah, well, I'm like next? telephone hospital. And my plan was to go to the casino. I love gambling. Mm. And Georgia has casinos. And I'm like, well, I'll go there. And Allison even made fun of me when I proposed that I'm going to go to the casino. She's like, yeah, because you're having such good luck. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. She's like, great idea, buddy. Good one, Allison. You're having great luck in life. (laughs) Go for it. So uh, after we went to the telephone hospital, we got dropped off at You. uh, Yeah, true. I got dropped off at the airport, at the Radisson Blue. But before, and this whole thing took less than 20 minutes. Not the airport. Why did you go to the airport? Oh, sorry. To the casino. Keep in mind that meanwhile, this whole time, I was just like relaxing at the little spa-like bathhouse because I couldn't handle Fadger's mood swings. Yeah. Those, f- those bathhouses in uh, Georgia are awesome. They are awesome, yeah. As, as I got dropped off. Of course, off. I had a cold Borjomi with me. Oh. 
Go- oh yeah, the water. <laughs> the best oh, yes. water in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, I was like, what? So run- I was feeling so good that I kind of felt guilty at uh, like how <laughs> how happy I was because <laughs> Patrick was not in a happy state. But I was like, I booked a private room at the bathhouse, my own hot pool, cold pool, sauna, steam room, and like two big bottles of Borjomi in the glass. <laughs> and so like I was just, yeah. I was in my happy place and Fadger was like the angriest and saddest. <laughs> he had so many negative emotions. Like it was, it was sadness. It was yeah, anger. It was like me. everything, everything. Well, and then to top it off, he thinks it's a good idea to go to the casino. Gambling, yeah. Like, okay, things are I know it's a good end. idea when things are falling apart. <laughs> go gamble. Um, so you went to the casino. Well, here's and then the what thing. Happened? My driver actually told me that he comes from the region of Borjomi where this super amazing water comes from. And he even went on to tell me that his mother or grandma makes the best cha-cha. Because in their home village, which is where Borjomi is, has the purest water with the highest number of this and that. What is cha-cha? Cha-cha is your local hooch, local liquor. Local liquor. Yeah, it's the local homemade. And Borjomi is, I think Alison can speak about Borjomi. Yeah, before Alison speaks about Borjomi, Allison's love of Borjomi is famous because uh, last New Year, when it was turning into 2019 from 2018, Jamil and I were on a ski trip in Gudauri in Georgia. And I remember you guys were staying in our place in Dubai or something. I was talking to Allison like, hey, you go to Georgia a lot. What, what, what should we do? Mm-hmm. And Allison's like, oh, my God, we're going to be in Dubai after you come. Can you please, please, please bring back some Borjomi. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is Borjomi? I had no idea. And I remember as soon Delicacy. as we, as soon as we yeah. arrived in Georgia, I was telling Jamil, I'm like, dude, I have to go find some of this, whatever the fuck this Borjomi is. <laughs> and then you realize that literally every single shop in, jo- in Georgia serves Borjomi and they're all super proud of it. Mm. Yeah. It's a region in Georgia. It's, the, it's their Evian. They have a spring, natural spring in the mountains. It's called yeah. Borjomi. Supposedly, they claim, just like I'm sure every other country in the world. But uh, this, like, this is true. Allison <laughs> believes that it is the best water. I have to agree, though, it is special water. It wouldn't be my, like, everyday water because it has a taste special taste yeah, yeah. but it is you, you could de- you could taste the goddamn minerals yeah i remember mm-hmm. we built it up so much like oh mo can't wait to get my hands on that borjomi <laughs> 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 and then the moment when we finally got the borjomi and we're like water <laughs> <laughs> yeah so my driver just kept yapping about his borjomi heritage <laughs> right, yeah and how he makes it as uh, you know, ancestors recipe of cha cha from their Borjomi, and then we struck a deal uh, for him to drive us to the ski resort the next day. Mm. So the next day, we we're going to spend the night in Tbilisi. I was going to make a million dollars at the casino, <laughs> of course, <laughs> and wake up and go to Gudari. So we made a deal for 180 lari, which is more or less what you should be paying. Yeah. Um, uh, and then uh, we get to the casino, and I asked him how much it was. And then he, he presented me with a, an incredibly high price. He wanted 90 lari for this 20-minute journey, max 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Which is too much. Which is too much. Ideally, a, t- a taxi ride within Tbilisi would be 5, 7, 10 lari. Okay, we did go to the telephone hospital. And maybe it's like 15, 20. But 90 is just ridiculous. Mm. Right. Like when you pay the airport cab upon arrival at the airport, like 40 lari. Do you know uh-huh. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, And that's yeah. like at the airport for a much longer drive. It's just a ridiculous thing. So we got in a bit of like an He's argument. He's obviously trying to rip you off. He's yeah. trying to yeah. rip me off. So I don't usually carry a wallet with me uh, when I travel. I just carry like the only piece of ID I need and cash and uh, like a one credit card. So I took out my wallet just to kind of like throw money, what I thought was fair, to give him and walk out. Yeah. I suppose in the heat of the moment, I... Must have dropped my credit card in his car without is, knowing. Is this before? Is this when you were leaving the casino? Yeah, so I'm in the cab. We're yeah. arguing like, 90 lari, fuck you, it's ridiculous. To, you know, took my money out and just gave him 40 lari, which I knew is already obscene anyway. Uh, but at that moment, I wasn't having it. You know, I had the phone thing. I, yeah. you know. <laughs> You've reached your limit. Yeah, I'm just like, fuck off, man. Like, now you want to <laughs> do Rip this? So yeah. I paid him 40, left 
but left angrily. He even came out with me to like yell at me some more. Okay. And he was quite aggressive. Yo, oh, man, whoa. Georgians are pretty aggressive. I yeah, like say. a big bald Georgian dude yelling at me like khal you yeah. know. Every restaurant me and Mo sit at, they come to us with the menu. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> yeah. We're like, I'd like to eat food, please. <laughs> yeah, they definitely don't understand the they're not they don't have the western mentality of customer service the customer is always right smile at the customer that's non-existent non yo you couldn't you just be like i'll call the police to the cab driver so that's what i did in the sense that i took out my broken phone to try to take a picture of his license plate mm. which was really funny because he knew i had a broken phone and it's like flashing green lights <laughs> and i'm trying to like the phone still worked you just had to guess what you're pressing. Right, okay. like the entire screen is yeah. just like white and like... Exactly, so I'm like trying to take pictures of the thing while he's like yelling at me in Georgian and I'm just like, this sucks. <laughs> but and but like, when he did see me whip out my phone, take a picture, his uh, attitude completely changed. Too yeah. defensive? Too like, oh, yo, brother, all good, baba, baba, you know? Uh, like, don't scream. Yeah, so that. anyway, he took the 40 um, and that was that. That yeah. was the end of but him. You, you didn't tell us what happened at the casino. Or did you have good luck or bad I luck? I swear. Oh, good question. Not because I'm on the air and lying, but I won $1,000, Ooh, which was really brilliant. Uh, it really put a smile on my face, you know? Nice. Okay. So Allison was wrong about your poor run of form of luck. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely <laughs> somehow Sorry, <Alice>. <laughs> <laughs> it, it changed things a bit, you know, within my head. Nonetheless, uh, whatever, it is what it is. We went out to dinner, went to sleep, woke up to a phone call in the morning. The receptionist is like, driver is here. And um, I'm like, what the fuck? We, we don't have a driver coming. Turns out Buddy showed up. The same guy? Yeah, same guy. Same guy that I agreed with to go to Godari. Before they got into the fight. So even after the fight, the guy still thinks, oh, this guy's still my client. I can make One money with him. One word, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like he's that ridiculous. It's like, anyway, so I went down really angry. I'm just like, you know, fucking we, we went out, we've been drinking and a little hungover. And now I have to go down and yell some more at this guy yeah. or, you yeah. know, like get into a conflict rather again. Like, how dare yeah. he like come up, man. So I go down with attitude. Uh, this time uh, I'm on the offensive. Mm. You know, he's like, hey, Baba. <laughs> Yeah. I brought the cha-cha. Yeah, you have <laughs> leverage now. You have leverage. Yeah, he's like, brought the cha-cha from Bridget. You know what I mean? And I'm just like... He's being ha. friendly. Yeah. And I'm like, how dare you show your face, man? You want to charge me 90 yesterday? Well, blah, blah, blah. And screw you. I'm not going with you. Like, you know, bug off, man. Yeah. You know, very angry. And then the receptionist got involved. And I explained to her, I'm like, this guy wanted me to pay 90 yesterday. He has... Yeah. For him to show up. And literally, I was... At the point where I was like, you know what? This conversation's over. And I like turned around and walked away. <laughs> Fajr is sassy. <laughs> That's like when my sassy came out. I'm like, yeah, this guy, I'm, not, I'm not even having this conversation. And I just turned around and like walked away. It's over. <laughs> Meanwhile, this was just like in my head part of like our arrival in Tbilisi and the mess that Fajr has created. And, you know, yeah. it was following drama, us drama. even the next day. Like it involved now this driver and we, I knew that he, we were going to get yelled at in the morning on the way to our ski resort. Like it was just still this, this dragging all, on. This was all yeah. just like, in my mind, I'm like, trip. checkmate, like bugger off. We're, I'm not even having this conversation. <laughs> I showed him. Yeah. Uh -huh. So three hours later, we're checking out. Oh, how would you like to make the payment? I get asked by the reception. Uh -huh. I'm like, oh, with my handy, awesome credit card. Look in the wallet, no credit card. Go up to the room, no credit card. And then I go back to the reception. She's like, oh, by any chance, sir, is your credit card black in color? I'm like, yeah, that looks like my credit card. How did you know? She's like, well, the driver that you yelled at, when he came in, he had the credit card in his hand. Oh, boy. That's how he like yeah. even knew your name, uh, yeah, yeah. you know? And I'm just like, motherfucker, he's got my credit card. <laughs> so he came back to return it. No, he came no. back. He came back assuming that, first of all, he's going to win me over by bringing back my credit card. Secondly, we're going to go on this ride to Gudari. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I went in all guns out. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know? Not and realizing it's like, that not realizing. you had forgotten. Yeah, not realizing he had yeah. this leverage on me. Yeah. So, like, fuck, I would have given him, like, you know, 50 lari for him to bring my card back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then when he when you were rude to him, he just pulled back and was like, screw this. Yeah. I'm not giving him his yeah, card. He's probably, he's probably thinking, like, I'm going to take this guy's card and use it to fill up that, fuel. And uh, <laughs> That's what I thought immediately. I'm like, motherfucker went shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Put my kids through education and... <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a shitty situation ever when you so lose then, your credit card. Yeah. So yeah. then the next thing, like after the yelling in the morning, then we go to check out and oh, I swear out. we travel a lot and most of our vacations are so pleasant and very experienced travelers for fuck's sakes. We own a travel company, but this is like <laughs> the, the vacation from hell. Like I felt like such an amateur, you know, yeah. like, I lost yeah. my credit card. I broke my phone. Like what the fuck is going on here? You know? And I just wanted it to be over, especially that morning. I'm like, okay, I woke up today with $1,000. Yeah. Turn a page yeah. to happiness. Right. So, uh, yeah, I mean. So what did you do when they told you that he had your credit card? Well, I, m- by the way, my phone also that morning mm. healed itself where it would like <laughs> open. <laughs> okay, do you see the emotional <laughs> roller coaster? I swear to God, it healed itself. <laughs> So now his phone was working. Well, like semi-working. Like the screen would turn on and I'd get like 20 seconds before it goes to green mode. <laughs> and okay, let's not forget. Let's not forget that it's amazing he had how the they do license that, eh? plate picture of the driver. So uh-huh. the receptionist was like, for sure, you can call the police and you can get your car. So yeah, I'm like, evidence. I know how to get a hold of him. I have his license plate, like all proud and detective like. Yeah. <laughs> then she's like, oh, we can call the cops and this and that. And I'm like, dude. Like, I know what cop stations are like, go fill a report, fuck this shit. I just called my bank, which was frustrating because it went to green mode. <laughs> and I'm calling? trying to call, like, my banker to, be, to tell him to cancel oh, my card. Oh, you can't even uh. call your bank because your phone's not working. Well, it's like, yeah, like I said, it half healed. It's oh, up. 20 seconds. Yeah. So, uh, the short of it <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, yo, burgers. What oh, up? my God. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, big Z in the house. <laughs> Are you serious? Man, I wish I wish our audience could see what just happened right now. <laughs> it's epic, epic yeah, proportions. Things to follow. <laughs> things to follow. <laughs> things to follow. Can can we pause this and eat some burgers? Okay, just we're all, you're almost. I don't know. Like yeah, you're no, in the crucial going, moment. Yeah. So yeah, I, I called my banker, canceled the effing card. I've had enough of this situation. Chalas, time to enjoy the skiing. Mm. Mm. Um, you know, five yeah, hours you later. Have such a carefree attitude. No, at that point, I'm like, you know what? Let it be. Let it be. And let's enjoy our time. And and, and we did. We we canceled the card. Five hours later we were skiing in Gudari. Oh man, nice. Gudari snowboarding and skiing. Yeah, awesome. I mean, we also did yeah. have a bit of a problem finding that hotel because we didn't we couldn't use Google Maps because we didn't have a sim because your phone didn't work. Yeah, it's fine. But I mean but we're still at this uh, snow hill and it and it and it snowed so much the day before, so it's all this fresh pow pow. It was just nice. a perfect arrival. And it was like good written. A perfect to that arrival. Driver. I'd say. In Gudari. <laughs> why, why, why? Allison is not like having it. Blocking Do we like have like different memories of the same vacation? I honestly thought like, so yeah, from, from that moment on, once we got in the car for the rest of our trip. It was smooth sailing. It was smooth sailing. Yeah. Okay, After well. like enough events and enough emotions that would probably like span like a year of someone's life all compacted into <laughs> two days. No, into not even 24 hours, into like 10 hours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I you have to it. relax. You have to have a vacation from your vacation then. Yeah. Uh-huh. So any, anyway, we, we went to Gudari and had a, a stellar five days of riding. Yeah. All was good. Uh, in fact, uh, Mojo hooked us up with a driver to take us there. That drove you oh, guys. Oh, really? Yeah, I just, wow. I messaged him. He was so nice. And gave us a better price and was really nice. And I he even pretended like he knew who you were. And uh, I was like, oh, my brother, you drove him. <laughs> yeah. So uh, did the thing that we had to do. Had the best time ever. <laughs> and then, you guys, uh-huh. we come back to Tbilisi, had a lovely night, flew back to Dubai. And a couple of days after getting back to Dubai, I start getting messages on my cell phone. Somebody's uh-huh. trying to use your credit card. No. Oh. Yeah, like gas station in Georgia. Shameless. Attempted to fill up gas. It was all gas stations, and it happened twice. And luckily, the card's closed. So it said this okay. transaction's been denied. Yeah. And in my mind, I'm like, that motherfucker. Yeah. Like, how dumb is he? Yeah. Yeah. You know? He, like, waited. He waited. Yeah, too. yeah. He waited till I left the country or something. I don't know. <laughs> and okay. then 
What's even more ridiculous? He tried adding me on Facebook. What? <laughs> cool. Yes, I can't explain. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, he's, had to do. maybe he's trying to do some identity theft like oh yeah. i'll go yeah, on Facebook. like i get this friend request and i like i'm like what the or, fuck or maybe he's like maybe his birth date is the passcode you know wait hold Ooh. on i i just got up to do something the dude who stole your credit card added you on facebook yeah after attempting to fill up gas a few times <laughs> okay but uh, to be fair he didn't steal it he just yeah. withheld information and tried to fill up gas with it. <laughs> but like, it's this guy is like mkelleh on another level. Yeah. Like, like steals like from friends. you. You're getting messages from the bank, being like, "This guy is literally is trying to steal your money," and he adds you, <laughs> "Hey, bro, what's up?" <laughs> yeah. yeah.